you can now run all of your recon tools directly within your browser using an AWS Lambda. And honestly, just playing around with this tool in the past couple of days, it has been a game changer. If you're not familiar with Lemma by DevParam, it actually allows you to create a different approach to recon by just using a lambda function and invoking that lambda function to run your tools against a target or a list of targets which is very very cool and i'll get into that just in a bit or you can just directly right click on your browser and invoke that tool and have it scan whatever tool and host that you're hacking on at the moment but before we do that before i show you all the fun that we can have with this tool do me a favor and drop me a comment let me know what are the different recon tools that you want to see on this channel because honestly i've been making a little bit of recon content i've been doing some more live streams around recon and i've been enjoying it but i also want to make content that you are going to enjoy so drop me a comment whether it's a tool framework or an online application that is recon based that you want me to cover that could be something like bbot it could be your next uh, pen test tools trickers whatever it is drop me a comment and i will try and make a video of it in the upcoming weeks before i show you all the cool things about this tool and how to use it we got to set it up very quickly which is super super easy all you need is an aws account and some ubuntu machine to use as your command center just to be able to interact with the interface of this tool so what you want to do is quickly go to your im dashboard go to your groups create a brand new group and within that group you want to create your policy and give it the permissions you can give it the right permissions if you're good with aws or you can just be an animal like me and give it administrative access i know it's not secure but it gets a job done and then you want to go and add that user to that group go into the access keys and create an access right here which is going to give you the code and the access keys for that users to import to your box with the export command to be able to interact with aws and be able to build this as a lambda function okay now that we have done that all we have to do is type in the build.sh command after we have pulled this entire code into it but before i do that i want to show you something really really quickly that might be helpful and within this entire folder you have the tools folder and you can see that in tools right here i have added templates and a couple other things but these are all the tools that come in by default so if you want to add something new to it like a go tool that you use maybe it is your smuggler maybe it is something like nuclear it could be something different all you want to do is just put that in here and make sure that you have it set up so in this case i have added templates also which are my nuclear templates if i do an ls tools and do templates you can see there's a bunch of templates that i've put in here some of our custom and some of our are just defaults for the sake of this video installing the tool is super easy as you can see on the screen right here it just has every step that you need to do we've already created on aws key and our aws access key we have to export it once we've just done all of this we can go into our machine right here uh, type in build.sh it's going to build it and it's going to ask you for a region where you want to install this you can leave all these as default just like i have but the most important part here is to make sure we grab this url and before we do anything i'm just going to uh show you also the cli for lima you can also install that very easily uh all that is here in the uh readme file right here all you have to do is i think it's a pip x or a pip 3 install this cli and it just works super super easy but now that we have done all that i'm just going to quickly just do a dash l this is where you provide the url for our uh, lambda url i'm just going to put that in here now that it's specified we're good to go i'll show you what all that means in just a sec so now if we go in here and open up our instance you can see this beautiful tool that opens up and you can do a lot of cool stuff with it but at a first glance these are all the tools that are available and honestly i think for somebody like me this is a good enough starting point and now i can show you some of the cool use cases of using this amazing tool so the first thing we want to take a look at is how do we just use this as a tool within our browser and the cool thing with tamper monkey is they can actually create scripts that do specific things for you and i'm going to show you a couple of these that i already have created you can see this one for example is actually the default uh, for ff this is actually created by devparam himself but i'm just going to copy this uh, in here and we're going to go back and create a new one and with this one i want to just invoke and run our short scan and i'm going to just do short scan the tool that's going to look for is tilde vulnerabilities if you're not familiar with it look it up amazing tool uh, by bitcork but this is what it's going to do is it's just going to grab the url in our browser when we right click on it and it's going to perform a short scan but we have to make sure we put our url right here for our, our lima so we're going to put that in here and do cmd equals to so what's going to take is it's just going to take this url and feed this command into it and just run it for us right away we're going to call this one lima short scan and now we can have some fun with this as soon as we have this done 
what we can do is we can we're going to look for a iis website so let's say hypothetically you're just looking at a website whether it's if you want to do an ff on it or you want to use short scan in this case i want to use short scan with having this script right here now that it's ready i'm going to toggle it on should be on now if i go right click on here and click on tamper monkey tab i can just click short scan and it would immediately just launch that short scan on this application and do it within my browser which now it saves me a lot of time where i want to just right click on something and run a scan i no longer have to just go into my command prompt right here grab the url for this website and type in short scan and do this it's a lot of time to be spent and wasted honestly where you can just use this and have it do it and you can see immediately it scanned it it says it's vulnerable on this site for equifax.com.pe and it's just going to give me the outputs of this file right within my browser the bonus points with this is if you get very creative you can also just invoke these to be accessible with in your browser on your mobile device and just be scanning things on the fly as you think about it which honestly i don't know if that's healthy for me to do it on my programs or on my phone to always be hacking but that's also another option you have with this so that was just one of the use cases that i've created for myself and you can see right here if i right click i have a few more i have ff and i have a nuclear template for jalokia i'm going to add a couple of more of these that i have not imported yet but there's going to be a couple that it's going to look for tomcat for example it's going to look for path traversals and things that i have created within my nuclear template that i know i'm always going to be scanning for and it just makes it easier for me to right click and go to tamper monk and just say hey scan this for me and get it done and show me the results within my screen right away so that's just one of the really cool use cases of this tool but there is more to this and it gets way cooler now let me show you the second use case that i've been using a lot in the last 24 hours that this tool has came out so the first thing i showed was all about efficiency how do we just quickly run a scan or run a nuki template on something that we're looking at within our browser super super cool but this one is more about being fast and about speed when it comes down to recon so what you can see right here is a bunch of different domains that i've scanned for just a very easy sub finder i just throw it and add a couple of domains and it's just giving us all these files but what we can do with this now is we can actually have lima take all of these different domains or subdomains and run a nuclear template by distributing the workload within 200 workers actually for the sake of this video i'm going to make it uh, a 50 workers and it's going to take 50 of them all the hosts right here and run the swagger yaml on it and it's going to write the output of it all within final.txt and the cool thing about this is it's no longer that we have to wait for just nuclei itself to do it this is going to distribute the entire workload within 50 different workers and it's going to give us the outputs of this tool immediately and the reason why i use the yes, swagger yaml as an example for all of my videos is just one of the easiest things to scan for not because it's a vulnerability well obviously if there isn't older version of swagger we can use it for xss but not something i report myself but it's just easier for the video to show something that could lead up to finding vulnerabilities because it gives us documentation on the api and and for those of you who have watched my channel for a while you know i love api hacking and this is an easy way for me to just create a list of leads that could potentially give us vulnerabilities and you can see now it's coming back with a bunch of different outputs from domains like equifax disney ford and a couple of other companies that i've put in here and it's just giving us all these different swagger files that we could have scanned mainly ourselves but it would have just been a lot slower and using this now we have a ton of results and a lot of outputs that is coming out immediately the cool thing with this is you don't have to just do one particular yaml file or a nuclear template you can do multiple or just give it an entire folder and have it distribute all of that within the number of workers that you have included with your command so this has been the thing that i've been using this the most with is just finding different vulnerabilities or files or maybe just identifying one mistake on a specific asset for a bug bounty program and just quickly writing a template for it and running it against every single bug bounty program that i have in my inventory so the next time you find a cve or you just find a very interesting folder or maybe in a file on a bug bounty program and you want to quickly just scan the entire ecosystem of bug bounty programs that you have access to this is probably the best way and easiest and most efficient way to do all of it all in one tool and honestly this tool has just gotten me way way more excited about doing recon and it's been just very enjoyable to just use it on the fly and and honestly the results that i've gotten with this tool so far has been amazing all right that's it do me a favor if you haven't already hit that subscribe button drop me a comment and like this video and if you want to go a step further you can actually go and enroll and become a member on this channel all the proceeds that we make goes towards upkeeping this channel and making weekly content so if you haven't already become a no homie and also drop a like and comment do all the liking do all the commenting i will see you all in next week's video peace
Ben said we need four more seconds, so two, three, bye.